Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nathan here and today I have come with a very amazing concept and it is a general result. It will help you in solving objective problems very quickly. So it's uh, this guys this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and the name of this problem is merging of soap bubbles. Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are course of Iron Picture Foundation and for J Advanced uh, 2023 and uh, its uh, next phase will be starting in uh, first week of uh, uh, july from uh, work power energy and circular motion and uh, another batch for j 2023 is uh, emerge uh, batch and here we will be starting kinematics and uh, there is another uh, uh, course on advanced problems for uh, j advanced 2021 and uh, you can join advanced course of j 2022 in uh, hindi Currently, we are doing current electricity and uh, in the next phase, magnetism will be starting in this. And uh, next is uh, course on rotational mechanics and uh, it is already going on. It is midway. Guys, you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your uh, J preparation. You can unlock these courses on Unacademy using my code Nathan sir. For more info, you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the problem statement. Uh, two soap bubbles of radius R1 and R2 are merged together. These bubbles are made of uh, same soap solution and uh, evaluate the distance between the centers of these bubbles. Also find the new radius of uh, curvature of the new common surface. So concept wise here you can see uh, because once these two bubbles are uh, merging, uh, the common interface will be taking a new radius of curvature. You can see here this you know, one radius is R1 and one radius is R2. They are merging together and you are getting a new surface here which will have uh, some other radius of curvature. So if you see here, <coughs> this part will be experiencing force due to other one in this direction. Similarly here this will be along this tangent and uh, this is the new common surface. So the same force of F will be acting here. So first important point which you have to notice is these angles alpha, beta and gamma they are equally uh, these forces are equally inclined so alpha, beta, gamma all are equal and this is going to be 120 degrees. So first thing which you must notice in uh, merging problem of soap bubbles that these angles are going to be same. Now next part if you see here uh, now this is the force f and it is going to be perpendicular to this radius uh, of uh, circle 2 here i can say uh, you can see this force is perpendicular to this because it is tan along the tangent of this sphere similarly c1 to this one this force will be also perpendicular here and uh, this is the next one and its center of curvature will be somewhere else so you can see this diagram carefully this force f and this force f if you drop perpendicular on this one we will reach the center of one if we drop perpendicular on this one we will reach center of this this angle is given to us as uh, 120 degree this angle is also 120 degree where this is uh, 90 so you can see this uh, carefully that this angle is 30 and similarly this angle is 30 so this force f third one third interface will always that surface tension tension force will always bisect the angle of this triangle c1 c2 and point p where we are considering so this is general result and uh, it doesn't matter what is the radius of these two bubbles which are merging together so it's quite uh, surprising also now uh, the calculation wise it's very easy since this angle is 60 degree i can use the cos rule in this triangle here so cos 60 is equal to uh, this is square plus this is square minus this is square divided by 2 a b right 2 r1 r2 so when i apply this and uh, simplify i am getting a general result here uh, that is uh, l is equal to root of r1 square plus r2 square minus r1 r2 i'll suggest you guys to remember this result because uh, uh, the question in advanced paper can come with different different values and by chance if they are asking distance between the centers directly you can substitute the values and you can take the lead instead of solving in the exam hall so remark i have given here <coughs> because i was puzzled when i uh, saw this question and uh, it was making angle of 60 degree for any value of r1 r2 
now about the radius of uh, third one so here we are uh, solving it under some assumption that x is pressure in first one if we write uh, p1 minus p0 is equal to 40 by r1 similarly p2 minus p1 p0 is equal to 40 by r2 now when this next surface will come see their pressures may change slightly but that change is uh, negligible so i can say now pressure here is p1 and here it is p2 so p1 minus p2 will be 40 by the new radius of curvature now i can substitute the value of p1 minus p2 from the first one and if we simplify uh, we are going to get this r3 is approximately equal to r1 r2 by r2 minus r1 this is going to be the answer for second part but this question second uh, second problem is quite a common problem but this one is uh, slightly rare not uh, many questions you will see on this all right i hope you have enjoyed this uh, problem and you'll remember this result it will help you in fast solving so if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and uh, thank you